Hello and welcome to the Barbershop Owner Financial Tracker Spreadsheet. Uh, this was built in Google Sheets, so you don't have to worry about having other spreadsheet software like Excel or anything like that. Google Sheets is available free online to anybody. In a previous video, I showed one that was intended for barbers. Now this one is intended specifically for shop owners that have other barbers working for them. So to jump right into it, um, the first thing you'll need to do is go to the home page here. And every page here is navigated easily from this home page. But you'll enter in your barbershop name, and I'll just put in as an example, barbershop. And then you'll need to put in the current year. Um, so for this, you'll be able to use this spreadsheet template as many years as you'd like to come. Um, you just have to save a blank copy in each year, enter in the appropriate year. Um, but then there's a couple different sections you'll have. You'll have data on your barber, so how much money they're bringing in as well as how much they're paying you in rent. You'll have your owner data, which includes any shop expenses you might have, say buying clippers or supplies that you're going to be selling to your customers. Um, your income, if you're going to be a barber yourself within your own shop, keeping track of how much money you're making as well as tips. Um, and then also the money that you're going to be generating from all of your barbers as booth income will be captured there. And then you also have some analytics sections, and we'll get to those at the end. I've already input some sample data in here so we can see what some of those visualizations might look like. So starting out with the barber data, um, there's two sections you're going to need to enter data into. Number one is the barber daily data. Um, and here you can see it automatically populated in all of the dates based on you entering in 2022. But here you'll be able to track up to 10 different barbers. And I'll just put in a couple example names here to show that it kind of carries forward automatically through the rest of the spreadsheet. So here um, you have two barbers, but you can have all the way up to 10. Um, and then each day, you'll just have to keep a log of how much money each one of those barbers brought in and then how much of that went to you. For some shops, I know it might be a weekly booth rent, but for others it might be a percent of their total earnings. So you can just enter it in manually uh, whenever they actually pay you any booth rent. And then it's going to total that up on the right-hand side. So you can see for any given day how much money total your barbers brought in and then how much money total you brought in in the form of rent. And then you'll be able to see that data also. Uh, and I'll actually navigate back to the home page just to show you the navigation, um, the weekly uh, view of that data. So weeks numbers 1 all the way through 53, depending on the year. There might be more uh, weeks in the year. Um, but then each of their weekly income, Again, it'll total up for the total weekly income across all your barbers. Go back easily to the home page, and then also the same thing on a monthly basis. And it'll also give you the yearly totals down here for each one of your barbers. It'll be important at the end of the year at tax time when you have to say, here's how much money each one of my barbers um, was paid uh, or had paid to me uh, in the form of booth rent. And the other page you're going to have to enter in uh, data to, and there's actually two more, is the shop supply. So every time you purchase supplies, just enter it in here, put in the amount and the date, and then that's going to automatically get carried forward to some other pages in the spreadsheet that you'll see. In the shop daily data, so this rent and income is automatically going to be pulled in from the other spreadsheet where you entered it in already. And then you'll have your service sales. So this is any barber, uh, any cuts that you're doing, any colorings, anything like that, you should enter in here manual and service sales, and then any product sales that you have, any tips. Uh, the expenses are going to be automatically pulled from that shop expenses tab, and then they'll automatically calculate your net income for each day. And then similarly, you'll be able to see the shop data on a weekly basis, and then also on a monthly basis as well. And then you'll have a couple of different um, financial tools that you can check out. So here we can see for the barber financials, you can see for each individual barber, how much total money have they made so far in the year and how much have they total paid in rent so far this year. And then you can see for each month, what is your total barber shop income as well as your total rent throughout the year. And then finally, you'll have the owner financials where you can see your monthly cash flow, so revenue, expenses, and net income each month. You can see your revenue breakdown so how much of your revenue was booth rent versus service or sales, uh, your average daily revenue for each day of the week. Then you'll see a nice net income walk that takes you from your booth rent, your service sales, product sales tips, minus the expenses, and then gets you to your net income. Thanks for watching, and feel free to reach out with any questions.